we do know that Shohei Otani is not going to be available. I think that the Angels put it out there just to see who's interested. Now everybody would be interested. What would you be willing to give for Shohei Otani? And you start to look at what he's done so far. If you look at his first 50 career starts, he's got more strikeouts than Jacob DeGrom. He's got a lower ERA than Garrett Cole. First 500 at bats, more home runs than Ted Williams, more RBIs than Ken Griffey Jr. So my combo platter is I got two really good players wrapped into one. What's he going to be worth? Do the Angels want to give him $50 million a year? Because if he is Max Scherzer and Matt Olson, combine those salaries, we got a $60 million a year player. The Angels have one postseason appearance since 2013, and uh, they're not going to make the playoffs again. So no intentions of trading him, but it may be a while until the league's most exciting player is able to make an appearance in October. That's bad for the sport. Now you want it. It's almost like the NBA is like, uh, how many teams do we need to put in play with the play-in so Zion can make the playoffs? And then Zion, of course, wasn't able to come back and play. But they did extend it where you thought, this is almost like the Zion-Williamson rule. 